my channel. I hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to be doing finish a sentence. So basically I got um, people to give me a sentence and today I'm going to finish the sentence. I'm basically going to not even, I haven't even like prepped practice this like I'm just going to give answers that come straight up first answers that come into my head basically because I think those are a bit those are better and those are more natural here it goes first one is when I have a free day I like to slob basically and that sounds really bad doesn't it just watch watch loads of episodes of a box set I like to make my morning um, quite like slow and relaxed. So no rush, you know, like work, do a little, get my body moving a bit, like then have a late breakfast, then like have a shower, then drag everything out basically. Um, oh, the doorbell. I knew that was gonna help. I knew the doorbell was gonna go. Yes, yeah, so I like to have a, like a really relaxed day, like take my time doing everything. In the summer holidays, because Alyssa's been at her dad's, uh, still going to her dad's, and I haven't actually been at school, I have had more of those down days. I have felt guilt guilty for them, but I know that when it comes to being back into routine and back teaching, that I soon wish I had those days back, so I try not to feel guilty for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where did I put my pad? So next one is, so if I weren't afraid, I would, really weird like I think if I weren't afraid I would I'm just gonna go with the first answer that came into my head if I weren't afraid I would go I would write a children's book like draft I have all these ideas for like children's stories having re reading children's stories to Alyssa I would just write it and then find a publisher and send it maybe I think that's what I would do. I think I feel like at the moment I can't do it because I'm afraid I can't, like, who would want to listen to a story written by me? So, yeah, I think that's what I would do. Get my ideas for that children's story down on paper and just send it. I think so. Next is a thing I am proud of this year is I am proud of the fact that I've managed to save a load of money um, more than I've ever saved before and I have had the fantastic support of my family to do that um, but I still have managed to save this amount I've now saved a deposit for the house um, so that is something I'm extremely proud of and if you said to me at the end of last year that you're going to have enough deposit money for a house I'd have been like really that is the thing that I'm most proud of next up if I feel low I normally if I feel low I talk to somebody and someone like I text a friend or I talk to my mum or normally if I if I'm in low and just feel really funky, then I probably would just sit and watch rubbish, trashy TV that like I don't have to really think about watching, if that makes sense. Because um, I used to do that like at uni, like I used to when I was feeling really stressed at uni, um, I would just watch Gavin and Stacey. Gavin and Stacey isn't trashy, but something like that. Okay, something like I've either watched loads of times before or like reality TV that I can just watch and not have to think about it. That's what I normally do. These are, so, I'm having so much fun. Next up is, my favorite memory is being at my nan and granddad's house with my cousins um, and doing the Easter egg hunts. We used to have these like, my nan and granddad used to have like four acres of land. So like masses of like green space. Um, and we just, every Easter we used to hide all the Easter eggs and it used to be so much fun. And then we'd have like a big ass roast dinner and yeah, it's just those days where I didn't, I wasn't an adult, I didn't have much worries. 
yeah, life just, life, I mean, life is good now, but it just kind of brings a little tear to my eye thinking about it. They were just so happy. I guess I was really in the present moment when I was in, like, when I think to back to those times when I was with, you know, I used to go up to my nan and granddad's with my cousins. You, I mean, we are talking like, potentially 15 to 20 years ago, but I was just, we, we were just so present. We were just so in the moment, so. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? Would you go back, would you go forward in time? Or would you go back in time? Next one is my favorite meal is pasta. A big bowl of like pesto and chicken pasta, like carb, carb heavy up with some garlic bread on the side. Love carbs. I wish there was a world full of love. I've got a lot, a lot of love around me, um, but I feel, I feel sad sometimes when I see things in the news or hear about people that haven't got that love around them. And there are people in the world that I guess are making decisions in their lives because they haven't got the love that they need. I wish there was a world full of love. The world would be an even better place to live. Next, next up is my superpower would be to be able to go to somewhere really quickly, like get somewhere really quickly without having to pay. So like, for example, if I wanted just to pop to Australia for the weekend, I could do, so like fly basically, I could fly. Basically, my superpower is if I wish I could fly like super fast, be able to, I guess, see a bit more of the world because I guess I'm held back by doing that because of finances and time. My superpower would be to fly around the world and make sure I can take a list on my back. Okay, this is the second to last one. So on the weekends, I like to see family, um, especially when I'm working. I don't tend to see much of my family during the week and friends at the weekend and do things. So it could be going around to have a cup of, have a cup of tea or go for a walk or hanging out for a bit. So seeing family and friends. Last one is Guilty Pleasure Daytime TV program is Loose Women. I love watching Loose Women. I just feel like I would love to be on Loose Women because I just like chatting. I like listening to hear people's story learning about other people. I guess I feel maybe I wouldn't, because some obviously they talk about very um, important topics. And I feel like sometimes I'm not very clear when I speak, like I waffle. So I don't know if I feel like that might might help me, hold me back. But yeah, I would definitely like, I love what, look, watching these women. Um, I think it's just like watching your friends, isn't it? Having a good chat and yeah. It's comforting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, that was really good fun. I love doing things like that. Um, I feel like, again, I'm just chatting. And also I feel like I'm telling you like a bit more about myself maybe. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again next week at 8 p.m. for another video. Thank you. Bye.